Morton's neuromas occur most frequently in middle-aged adults, usually female, and they may be associated with the wearing of high-heeled or tight shoes. This, of course, will result in the heads of the metatarsals being pushed together. And it is between the heads of the third and fourth metatarsals that Morton's neuromas almost always occur. Occasionally, however, they may arise between the second and third metatarsal heads. To illustrate exactly where a Morton's neuroma typically arises, this is an articulated foot of a human skeleton, and it is between the third and fourth metatarsals at the arrow where Morton's neuromas usually arise. The typical symptom of a Morton's neuroma is a severe lancing pain originating in the sole of the foot between the heads of the metatarsals and exacerbated by walking and relieved by rest. This type of pain is called metatarsalgia and was first described by an American surgeon called Thomas George Morton in 1876. In a paper with the rather grand title of Peculiar and painful affection of the fourth metatarsophalangeal articulation. The gross appearance of a Morton's neuroma is a fusiform or ovoid swelling of the digital plantar nerve or nerves, and the adjacent tissues may be thickened. This is because the underlying pathology is degenerative and ischemic changes that not only affect the nerve but also the adjacent soft tissues. The histological features seen include endoperi and epineural fibrosis with an onion skin pattern of fibrosis around the nerve sometimes. There may be myxoid change within the nerve and also fibrosis of adipose tissue and blood vessels. And sometimes the blood vessels may contain thrombi. This nerve shows endo, epi and perineural fibrosis, in other words, fibrosis in and around the nerve. And here you can see onion skin fibrosis around this nerve. The pale blue stripes in this nerve are areas of myxoid change. This is adjacent soft tissue and you can see there is fibrosis of the adipose tissue. And in this part of the specimen the trauma and ischemia is so severe that it's actually caused some fat necrosis. And this picture very nicely demonstrates the etiology of Morton's metatarsalgia. It is not, strictly speaking, a true neuroma, but a reaction of the nerve and adjacent soft tissues to trauma and ischemia. Yeah.